thank you for choosing to watch this video. Before you watch it, you may want to print the attachments that are found below on the web page. All right, I'm going to do my part, which is kind of the down and dirty of how you're going to cut sugars. So Anna told you everything about the food and the content, the sugar content and the fat content that foods have. I'm going to talk about some tips of actually how to cut those things out of your diet and helpful tips that have helped me um, as I do different competitions and different things. So that's what we're going to talk about. First off, I want to start with the fact that a lot of times we make excuses for why we can't do something. So I really like this quote, um, don't say you don't have enough time, you have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to Helen Keller, Pasteur, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. I will say one additional thing, these people did not have television. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, television is directly correlated with obesity. So I know because I'm talking with a bunch of caregivers that you often give a lot of your attention to others and you don't take care of yourself. So if you have to have a reason to take care of yourself, understand that you're role modeling for your kids. And um, childhood obesity in Missouri is 23.8%. Um, nationwide, it's about 14.9. So 14.9 4 in 2012 nationwide, 23.8 um, in 2010 for Missouri. So think about your kids as you're thinking about these changes that you're making because you're role modeling. You, you really are. So, so my first statement is don't make excuses. You do have enough time. You can do these things, and we're going to talk about how. The first thing you want to do is have a plan, because um, you're going to be organized and committed. And again, um, I've gotten some of my uh, references from uh, several books, and I have them out here. But Tosca Reno is an author who's um, developed the clean eating. So if any of you have heard clean eating, this is a quote she has any attempt at weight loss must begin before the food appears, which just talks of preparation. Um, you really have to get a mindset for, I am going to do this and I want to succeed and I can do this. And what you tell yourself is what you do. So if you tell yourself you can, you really can. It might be a journey, it might be ups and downs, but you can do it. Sleep. Uh, Mayo Clinic says you need seven to nine hours of sleep. Sleep, again, is directly related to uh, making poor decisions with your food choices. Um, you, you never want to go to the grocery store when you're tired. So get enough sleep. Um, it helps with your overall health as well. Eat a big breakfast, moderate lunch, and light supper. Or as my friend Ryan said, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and supper like a pauper. So if you have to think of something like that, that's what you can do. Big breakfast is key. You want to start your metabolism. You want to start burning calories. A lot of people skip it. We're going to talk about what you can do to make a breakfast quicker, which involves preparation. <laughs> um, eat five to six meals or have a snack in between. So I know a lot of us, we don't have time to eat six meals a day. Um, Prepare a snack and have a snack that you can take on the run, um, that you can ingest. Again, you want to keep your metabolism going. You want to keep burning calories. If you stop, your body kind of goes into a fasting and it says, oh, I want to hang on to all these calories because I might be fasting. And so you don't want to hang on to calories. You want to be burning. So food is, food is fuel. You actually, it's a good thing. We don't have to restrict it. Drink a glass of water before meals a glass, so eight ounces. Um, really good tip to stay full. You fill up faster. Social eating, uh, this is important. A lot of us, when you are dieting, you want to avoid eating out. Um, and a lot of times you can't avoid birthday parties. You can't avoid um, social situations. So here are a few tips. Eat a small healthy snack before you go. Choose between a drink or dessert. And by drink, I mean alcoholic drink or a sugary drink. So kind of one or the other. Um, 
when you're drinking, you want to drink a uh, one water with one drink. It helps for the hangover. It, <laughs> it helps fill you up. You don't drink as much. Um, so one beer, then one water, or one drink, then one water. Choose a light beer, a wine, or a wine spritzer. Those are your lighter alcohols. You want to stay away from the margaritas, the daiquiris. I know that's our favorite, but they really are high calorie and high sugar content. Preparation. Um, really, success is all about preparation. And we're going to start with actually having healthy foods on hand. You have to have them in your house. And so going to the grocery store, you want to make a list. You want to stick to the list. How many have made lists and then we veer off of the list. <laughs> so stick to the list. Um, shop the perimeter of the store, with the exception of Aldi. <laughs> when you go into Aldi, if you can avoid the first row, the first aisle, then you're good. And, um, but general grocery stores, your produce is on the outside and that's why they say shop the perimeter. Get your produce first. Get started on a good mental track that you're gonna get fresh food. You're gonna get healthy food. Don't shop when you're tired. Don't shop when you're rushed. Don't shop when you're emotional, happy or sad, or stressed. So, so when do we shop? <laughs> <laughs> um, Saturday morning? <laughs> After you've had a full night's rest? Pre yeah, if you can find someone else to shop for you, absolutely. Um, prepare the food ahead of time. This is really key for me. You need to cut up your fruits and vegetables. When you buy your fresh produce, cut them up, put them in a clear Ziploc bag. Put them on a lower shelf in your refrigerator. If you put them in the crisper, you forget about them. If you put them in a different colored container, you forget about them. So I'm going with clear container clear Ziploc bag so it, and you have to prepare them I have a stalk of celery which I like celery I have it in the crisper at work it's not cut up I haven't eaten it you just tend to go for whatever's easiest so cook foods ahead of time um, I will always cook my meats I typically will do a meat on all the meats on Sundays but you can add you can go two or three two or three days but cook your chicken fish hamburger I also have turkey bacon and sausage because if you cook them ahead of time that's going to make them quick to grab when you need a breakfast and you do need protein at breakfast so if you go ahead and cook up your hamburger and your chicken then you can add additional ingredients on the day that you want to prepare them so you can um, cut up your chicken and have that put it in a casserole you can add seasonings and different things to your ground beef um, but if you have those done ahead of time then it makes cooking supper easier and faster and when you come home from work you're starving and you grab whatever you can find and so you want to have your a three o'clock snack or something so that you ward off that low blood blood sugar dip that makes you crazy so um, definitely have that stuff done ahead of time that just makes for ease and, and quickness hard boil your eggs ahead of time that way you have something for breakfast again to just go and grab um, beans quinoa millet any of those things that need to soak you can go ahead and make those ahead of time and then you can add them in um, to your ingredients throughout the week prepare your lunch for the week and so dieting tips is take your food with you. I mean, that's one of the best tips. You know what you've put in it when you've cooked it at home. Um, I don't go so far as to take my own food to restaurants, but you, <laughs> it does make it difficult when you're eating foods that other people have prepared. They add salt when you don't know. They add sugar when, when you're unaware. So um, what I'll do for my lunch, just for ease, is bring in a couple of chicken breasts, bring in a bag of spinach, bring in a, some bread, whatever you want, a couple hard-boiled eggs, so you have those available throughout the week. And so I'll bring two or three days supply for my lunch. Um, that way, again, it's time in the morning. Time, time, time. It's in preparation. Know your foods. Um, I have a handout on what foods are 
proteins, carbohydrates, and carbohydrates, there's two different types, and um, you have starchy and you have your um, complex carbs or your watery carbs. Protein, you have your meat, eggs, and dairy, and some grains. And then you're going to have your healthy fats, which I have them in that handout. I'm going to go back to um, carbs real quick and just one of the things that I didn't wasn't really aware of when I first started looking at my diet closely is that carbohydrates are also your fruits and vegetables. So typically when we think of carbs, we think of grains. But a sweet potato, a banana, uh, carrots are actually starchy carbs as well. And you really only need two servings of starchy carbs um, per day. So when you're adding in sweet potatoes and, all, and um, bananas, those are considered starchy carbs, which are, are a little higher in sugar and a little higher in calories than your watery carbs, which are, you know, your spinach, your broccoli, oranges, melons. I, I have a whole list of what's considered high water carbs that you can have more of, five or six servings. Um, we've done that. Um, healthy snacks, we talked about almonds. Um, have those available for yourself at work. And um, so you want to have almonds. Here's just some choices. Peanut butter, protein bars, instant oatmeal, hard-boiled eggs, Greek yogurt, rice cakes, 100 calorie snacks. Um, the other thing is that you want to eat the correct portion. So a lot of times what I will do in those bags of things is put them in an individual bag. That way you only have one portion. That way you're not getting more than what you actually need. Nuts especially are important for that. So, okay. Again, know what you're eating. Um, journal what you eat for two days. Writing down really helps. You will not believe. I've never been a person to write things down, honestly. Um, but when I write down what I eat, I notice right where my gaps are, where do I have um, the cravings the most. Um, so again, when you're writing down, you want to look for the time of day that you eat, um, what type of foods um, are you more craving, sweet versus salty, mm -hmm. and forgotten foods. Every bite counts. So think of that when you're writing things down. It's really a lot of times when we say, I'm not losing weight, I'm not, you know, getting any progress and I'm watching everything you know they'll you'll go through and you'll ask them what are you eating oh I'm eating everything perfect you got to think about little things like creamer in your coffee you've got to think about like um, Anna said barbecue sauce your dressings um, bites of things like maybe you didn't have the full cookie but you had a couple of bites well it's calories still add up and that's what's that's what you get when you journal is you look at that and you're like, yeah, that's, you know, this is, you see a pattern forming. In order to correct a problem, you have to know what the problem is. And that's important for that. Consciously eat. Put your meal on a plate. Um, don't eat in front of the TV. Don't eat out of a bag. Um, put it on a plate. Appreciate it. Appreciate the flavor, color, texture. Don't mindlessly eat in front of the TV. Um, I have in front of the TV, that's probably your most common, but just be aware of when you're eating and that you're eating, and you'll feel fuller. Um, when you're thinking about other things, you don't even realize how full you are. Uh, so we're talking a little bit more specifically about proteins. You need about four to six servings of three ounces. Um, recommended daily intake is 0 0.8 to 1 gram per kilogram. You can get your protein in beans, dairy, eggs, uh, some grains, quinoa, even some vegetables. Broccoli has some protein in it as well, as well as meats. And I think everybody thinks about the meats. Uh, again, in my handout, I have uh, a list of all different sorts of foods that have protein in them. For me, protein really does decrease the craving for sugar. So that's, um, that's one of the big tips, as well as protein is very good to help you 
um, build muscle as you're exercising and things like that. So protein is important. Just a side note, if you're exercising heavily or you're uh, bodybuilding, lifting weights, they do recommend you get six servings. Um, so it, depending on how active you are, you want to go between um, four to six servings. Carbohydrates, we talked already about the starchy. Um, starchy, you only need two servings, which would be a half a cup cooked, one cup dry. Just listed a few things, a few different types of starchy carbohydrates for you. Um, high water, five to six servings. So those are things you get to eat virtually on my list. I have virtually you could eat as many as you wanted of your broccoli, your asparagus. There are digestive side effects, so <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it at that. Beware if you choose to eat a whole gob of broccoli. So healthy fats, um, you need to, about two servings, um, one to two tablespoons is a serving. And we're gonna talk about portions in a little bit, but for your healthy fats, because they do have a lot of calories, and um, basically a calorie is, you need to watch your calories because of the equal pounds. So yes, they're good and quality calories, but you wanna minimize um, how many calories you get from your healthy fats. So small portions there. Your butters, your nut butters, your seeds, your avocados, oils, hummus. Um, healthy fat hummus also has some protein in it, but um, Again, just be aware, you have to know what you're eating. If you don't know that you're eating starchy carbs, then you're eating and you're eating three bananas a day and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I love bananas and bananas are good. That might be where you're missing some. You know, that might be where you're having uh, difficulty with calories and, and losing weight. So um, serving sizes, we're gonna talk about that. The resource I used, which is uh, the clean eating plan talks about using your hand because you have your hands with you all the time. So you don't have a tool that you have to go and bring to the restaurant and things like that. So in general, a protein needs to be about the palm of your hand, about that size. That's gonna be a serving. Starchy carbs, one cupped hand. So your starchy carbs of your grains, um, and that again is serving size. Watery carbs, you can have two cupped hands for your watery carbs. Healthy fats, you just want in the center. So just this much, Anna talked about that. A teaspoon, if you're looking for a guide for a teaspoon, is just the tip of your thumb. So again, portion sizes are important. Conquer cravings. Um, cravings are really everyone's downfall. You're doing really good until three o'clock hits. Um, so. The first step in conquering cravings is going to be to know your weaknesses and that's where journaling comes in. Otherwise you can kind of just look at your day and, and know, but you need to know the time of day where your um, weakness is. Emotions, is it based on if you're happy, sad, angry, I mean there could be any number of reasons um, why you're eating more. Um, tired, tired is a big thing. Just when you're tired, you don't make good decisions, you feel like you need something, you have a craving of some sort. Um, busy, when we're busy, we just go through and we pick up whatever's handy. And um, anxious or stressed. So know your weaknesses, know what type of foods you crave. So are you one to go for the salty or are you one to go for the sweets? So that's important to know because you're gonna prepare for that by having those low calorie options available. So if you're more of a salty, you may wanna have some low fat string cheese, um, 100 calorie popcorn. Peanut butter and apple is a good option. If you're more for the sweet, chocolate milk is good. <laughs> <laughs> I know it has a little sugar in it. Um, certainly it's a good option after you exercise if you really have cravings then go do some exercise the sugar helps you know your blood sugar rebound after exercise fruit is a good option Greek yogurt frozen or regular um, herbal tea sometimes like um, if you're tired herbal tea is relaxing it will also fill you up um, rice cakes you can have the sweet or the salty you can have cheddar or you can have chocolate 
So if snacks aren't going to help you, you've already given, you've already had your snack, and you're still kind of craving something. Uh, you really need to try to distract yourself some way somehow. Going for walks, uh, reading a book, take a nap, uh, take a bath, drink a water, prepare your food for the next day, clean your house, um, play video games. I'm not going to say watch TV because it is really kind of a mindless thing and you end up snacking while you watch TV. So um, those are some ways that you can start changing your diet. Um, so Anna kind of talked about what's in foods. These are some options for how to get that done, how to cut sugar out of your diet, how to um, have a healthier diet. Any questions? What's teff? Or teff? Is it teff or teff? Teff. Teff, teff is, is a grain. I've never heard of that. Yeah, you would find it. Oh, what is teff? The question is, what is teff? <laughs> uh, teff is a grain that you will find in um, Whole Foods stores. We don't have a lot of it around here. You might see it at hy V. if What's you. It like? It's just a small grain. I have not cooked it, so I, I don't know. My question was going to be, what does it taste like? I could yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't tried that. I've tried millet, and um, I've had quinoa I keep on hand chia seeds. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> What's that? Tell them about the chia seeds. Oh, the chia seeds. Yes. Chia seeds are um, supposed to be very good for you. <laughs> I did not have a good reaction to see <laughs> chia seeds, so you will not see that on my diet plan. <laughs> but overall, I think they have some nutritional value for sure. Anything else? One of the things that I wanted to talk about um, in addition to this is for those of you who are starting to do the in it to win it and you're exercising. Exercising is great. What, I, what you need to think about is that you can out eat your exercise. So a lot of times when you start exercising you're like, I feel really good, I'm so happy. I can have a bowl of ice cream. You really can't. Um, and so that's what I, and one of the handouts is how many calories you burn in an hour at a given activity. You would be surprised. You don't burn that many calories. I work really hard and I'll only burn 500 calories. Um, if you look at a Snickers bar um, that has 240 calories, I actually looked up um, M&M, almond M&Ms, and one cup had 1,026 calories. Part of it is because the almonds are higher, and then you have almonds and chocolate, but you need to be aware that you can out-eat your exercise. Just because you're exercising, and a lot of people will have that, I'm exercising all the time, I go to the gym all the time, you really have to watch what you put in your mouth. Um, that really does matter. A calorie is a calorie. And although we want you to have healthy calories, so many calories add up to pounds. So um, be aware of that. The other thing that I have a handout on is your Healthy Roads website. In your Healthy Roads, Roads website, you can look at nutritional value of foods. And I may I have the handout there on how you can get to that. If I have enough time, I will just see if we can pull that up and show you. And have resources available. You're just going to have to do some, some research. And you're going to have to put a little work into finding out um, some of this information. Healthy Roads in the nutrition section um, will have nutritional values for foods. It will have recipes. There's also articles. So in that packet, I printed off a few articles um, that I found that correlate kind of with what Anna was talking about in choosing your carbohydrates and healthy fats, things like that. Thank you for viewing the video. Before you close, don't forget to print the attachments that are found below on the webpage.